Heat waves are prolonged periods of excessive heat, where temperatures are hot relative to the time of year as well as the location. So this means that we can have heat waves in winter as well as summer. However, the impacts of heat waves are generally much more noticeable in summer because temperatures are naturally higher at this time of year. Heat waves can kill. In 2009, more than twice the number of people died during the heat wave prior to the Black Saturday fires than during the fires themselves. Heat waves also have a negative impact on our natural ecosystems, with fruit brats literally dropping out of trees when temperatures reach 42 degrees Celsius. There is also a negative impact on our infrastructure, with train tracks buckling when temperatures get too high. There are four main drivers of heat waves. Firstly, natural variability affects when heat waves may occur in which season. Secondly, how dry the soil is may affect the intensity and duration of heat waves. Thirdly, the synoptic systems which govern our weather will also affect how strong a heat wave may be and the time of year it also occurs. And fourthly, we actually have an influence on heat waves from climate change. Over the last 50 years, we've seen some pretty drastic increases in the frequency of heat waves. And this isn't just over Australia, this is worldwide as well. We've also seen increases in the intensity and duration of heat waves, but this is particular to certain locations. So for example, in Sydney, we tend to see our heat wave season almost three weeks earlier than what we used to do in around 1950. Canberra has seen a doubling in the number of heat wave days they experience each summer, and Melbourne has seen an increase in the intensity of heat waves every summer. The impact of climate change is already evident in the heat waves that we see today, and unfortunately these trends will continue as human influence on the climate increases.